Hi everyone, this is Sunny Kumar from IIT VHU and welcome to my channel Code with Sunny. And today I am going to discuss the problem uh, L shaped plots of kickstart round 2021 round A. Okay, so let's move further to discuss the problem. So, in this problem, we have been given a grid of R rows and C columns where each cell in the grid is either 0 or 1. Okay, and a segment is defined as a non empty sequence of consecutive cells such that all cells are in the same row or the same column so basically we are dealing with the same row or with the same column then the segment is defined okay and we define the length of a segment as the number of cells in the sequence okay a segment is called good now you can see a good segment is defined as if all the cells in the segment can contain only ones that is a a segment uh, which is nothing but a consecutive cells of one in the either a same row or in the same column is called a good segment and a L shape defined is an unordered pair of segments which has the following properties okay now a L shaped uh, figure is defined as each of the segments must be a good segment that is a, a segment consisting of only consecutive ones and the two segments must be perpendicular to each other okay and the segments must share one cell that is an end point of both this uh, both the segments and segments uh, segments must have a length of at least two and the length of the longer segment is twice the length of the shorter segment so these are basically the definition of a l-shaped figure found in a matrix now you can see the main key point of this question is the length of the longer segment is twice the length of the shorter segment so this is the basically uh, important point to be uh, understood uh, while solving the question okay so finally we need to count the number of l-shapes in the grid Okay, so we need to find out the what is the number of total L shapes uh, present in this grid where the definition of the uh, of an L shape is uh, here given. Okay, so let's move further to understand. Note that uh, this is a valid L shaped figure you can see uh, because uh, the three uh, up uh, you can see the three consecutive ones in the same column is present and there is a common uh, point here uh, you can see that is uh, from where we can say the segment of consecutive ones start in upward direction and starts in a leftward direction in upward direction you can see uh, it is of length 3 and in leftward direction you can see it is the length of 6 so one segment is twice the other that is length of one segment is twice of the other so this is a valid l shape figure and you can see in the second figure the uh, length of uh, consecutive ones in uh, you can see in vertical direction is 4 and there is a common point here common point of 1 and uh, in the horizontal direction you can see there is a segment of length 2 uh, so it satisfies the L shape figure that is uh, we have a length of segment 4 in vertical direction and we have a length of segment 2 in horizontal direction and there is a common end point and both the segments are perpendicular to each other so this is a valid L shape figure and you can see these are not the valid L shape figures there is no common end point and also you can see in this case the length of segment is not the uh, one of the length of segment is not twice the other and similarly in this third figure also so finally we need to find what are the total number of L shaped figures present in this uh, matrix so let's move further to analyze how we can find out the total number of L shaped figures okay so let's move further so I have basically built the uh, four L shaped figures which are nothing but the valid uh, valid L shaped figures okay so you can see uh, this problem basically uh, requires the prerequisite of dynamic programming because uh, we need to calculate the uh, consecutive ones here for a segment uh, because L shaped figure con consists of a consecutive ones of segments either in the horizontal direction or in the vertical direction so we need to know what is the maximum length of the consecutive segments of one ending in the current cell either in the upward direction starting from upward or downwards or leftwards or rightwards okay so let's say we have a consecutive we have this l shape figure and these are the four valid l shape figures and all the cells consist of uh, ones i have not mentioned here but it is obvious that if it is an l shape figure it consists it uh, consists of two segments which are perpendicular to each other you can see and it consists of ones okay and a common endpoint now you can see 
uh, what I am going to do is so the basic idea to solve this problem is uh, first of all uh, every programmer must think of a simple approach uh, that is to iterate over all the L shaped valid L shaped figures and figure out the answer uh, but uh, this uh, will get the partial points but uh, we will not get the full full score to get the full score we need an efficient solution so what should be the an efficient solution so you can see one thing that is uh, pretty much common here for all the L shaped figure is this uh, common point you can see this common point and you can see this common point and again this common point so what about uh, if we fix this common point that is I am going to denote it by C let's say if I am going to fix this common point C then for each cell let's say we are at cell uh, called I comma J and uh, let's say I am going to fix this I comma J as the lower most point of this one segment and the leftmost or rightmost point of the other segment okay so I am going to fix this cell and uh, uh, for every cell I comma J let's say this is the common end point and let's find out the two segments starting from this cell so how can we find the length of the two segments starting from my current cell I comma J so it is nothing but basically these are the four L shaped figures so if we fix this common point then I need to calculate the four things that is the maximum number of uh, consecutive ones that is segment ending at this current cell or you can say starting at this current cell uh, either uh, for the leftward or either for the left hand side or for the right hand side or for the upwards or for the downwards okay you can see here uh, if I am going to say this is my common point then uh, these are the maximum number of cells in the upward direction and these are the maximum number of cells in the uh, con cells of consecutive ones that is a segment for L shaped figure in the rightward direction and this is for leftward direction okay and this is for again upward direction and this is for downward direction you can see and this is for rightward direction and again this is for leftward for a com with the respect to common point and this is for downwards so it basically signifies that for every cell i comma j we need to know four conditions a four condition that is maximum length of consecutive segment of one for up up direction for down direction and for right direction and for left direction so these are the four parameters or you can say these are the four necessary data I need to pre calculate to solve it efficiently for every cell i comma j we cannot solve it like uh, let's come up to i comma j and then start finding out what is the maximum because yes we can do that but it does not give us a full score because it will get time limit exceeded as obvious but because we need to find an efficient solution we need to pre-calculate these four things so how we are going to pre-calculate these four things so it is but uh, it is nothing but basically you can see i am going to do that here for let's say i am going, uh, going to calculate for up direction that is maximum number of consecutive segments of ones that is ending at current cell is nothing but let's start for a particular column let's say co column number j and i trade from i equal to 0 i equal to 0 up to i equal to n minus 1 and i can say if if let's say if matrix of ij is equal equal to 1 just uh, add uh, the previous value 1 plus the previous uh, row that is matrix of ij uh, plus equal to matrix of i minus 1j if it is 1 and if it is 0 just to make it 0 so here you can see if i need to calculate uh, for this one starting from upward direction it is 1 here and it is 2 here and it will become 3 here because all are consecutive ones it will become 4 here and it will become 5 here and it will become 6 here so for cell i comma j maximum number of consecutive ones ending at my this current point common point is 6 and suppose here i have taken the simple case suppose uh, this is not a consecutive cell it is like 1 1 cells of 1 then again it will become 0 and then 1 so how the our answer will be like like here it is will become 1 maximum number of consecutive cells here it will become 2 and here it will become 3 and here for 0 it will become 0 again and here 1 for 1 and again 2 it will be like that and similarly I need to find for every that is this is for up direction 
I need to find for down and for right and for left that is for current cell what are the four parameters I need okay so let's say I have pre-calculated the four parameters so if you have any doubts how I have calculated the, uh, these four parameters no need to worry about I am going to explain also in my uh, code section also uh, when I will am going to explain my coding uh, part how I have coded together and implemented these uh, four parameters or four uh, datas okay so let's say I have uh, found this up down right and left okay so what should be the my uh, uh, let's say I am at a cell which is uh, like which is uh, whose uh, matrix of Pfizer is 1 it means uh, this uh, can be a uh, common point for an L shaped figure okay so for L shaped that is if it is if it contains 1 so this can be our uh, common point for L shaped figure so I am going to calculate that is uh, I have four data up down right and uh, left and for this case you can see I need up and right parameters and for this case I need up and left parameters and for this case I uh, need down and uh, right parameter and for this case I need left and down parameters okay so these are the four answers our answer will be incremented by all these four let's say I am going to deal with uh, up and left okay so I have the value uh, let's say x which is going to denote the maximum number of consecutive cells of ones of segment in up direction and let's say I have a y maximum number of consecutive cells uh, of ones in uh, left direction so what is my answer corresponding to this L shaped figure that is u and l my answer would be simply x minimum of uh, x comma y by 2 uh, let me write minimum okay minimum of x comma y by 2 plus uh, minimum of and then uh, minimum of y comma x by 2 uh, because you can see there is a condition here as mentioned in this question uh, okay so the length of the longer segment is twice the length of the shorter segment so there are two possible cases I need to consider x and y by 2 and or y and x by 2 because one length segment length can be the twice of the other so I need to consider what are the total number of L shaped figures in this you can see uh, if I take this as a common point uh, I have the figure like uh, this one 2 and this I have to take 4 okay or again you can see uh, in this case if I have taken 2 and if I have taken 3 I need to take 6 segments length to the left uh, but it, here it is not possible okay again uh, you can see if I have taken from left 1 then I need to take uh, in the upward direction 2 segments length okay that's what I have to do so I have taken the 4 possible cases that is sorry 2 possible cases x comma y by 2 minimum with that should be appended with our answer and y comma x by 2 and what about uh, x or y sorry uh, let me write it clearly x or y is equal equal to 1 if x or y is equal equal to 1 uh, um, our answer will not be incremented okay so if uh, because it, if there is only one cell so it means that I have only this ending for common point and there is no cell in this upward direction or there is no cell in this leftward direction so there is not an L shaped figure form because a segment length must be at least 2 you can see here okay. So I need to check my condition that is for every uh, 4 possible L shaped figure UR, UL, DR or LD uh, for every corresponding to every orientation I need to find the answer that is uh, uh, our answer will be incremented by uh, if x or y is equal equal to 1 our answer will be 0 otherwise for a particular orientation our answer will be minimum of x comma y by 2 plus minimum of y comma x by 2 where x, uh, where x and y are the length of the segments or two lengths of segments which are perpendicular to each other so this is the basic approach I need to uh, explain that okay so let's move uh, further to the code okay you can see here uh, time complexity will be over part into C and space complexity will be over part into C because I am traversing a matrix okay so here I have a get answer function you can see uh, if horizontal length or vertical length is 1 I need to return 0 because an L shaped figure cannot be formed otherwise our answer would be minimum of horizontal or vertical by 2 and uh, it uh, our answer would be like 1 greater so I need to decrement my answer and again our answer would be minimum of vertical and horizontal by 2 
and again this should this gives us one extra answer one extra l shift figure so i need to decrement my answer again finally return answer for a particular orientation l shift figure okay so let's come to the solve function for every test case i first have taken nm and uh, there is a matrix original matrix you can see and i have taken four matrices up down left and right to calculate what is the maximum number of cells consecutive cells of one ending at my current cell and uh, for current cell i need to know the four parameters up down left and right okay so i first taken the input matrix and you can see i i need to pre calculate the four things calculate for each cell in four direction number of consecutive cells ending here okay now you can see uh, this is i have calculated for down that is uh, for down i need to calculate i need to uh, perform for every column that is uh, for every column j0 up to j less than m i need to calculate if mat of ij is going to be zero i just uh, skip this step that is down of ij will become zero otherwise increment down of ij and if i is positive just uh, take the prefix uh, sum in that column okay and similarly i need to do for up of ij and for the down, right of ij and for left of ij okay that will give us the maximum number of consecutive segment of ones and what should be our answer for each particular cell okay so you must know that our answer for each particular cell would be only possible if my common point that is l shaped figure has a common point for the two segments it consist uh, uh, will have one so i need to check if mat of ij is zero just continue otherwise our answer can be possible so answer plus get answer function i have called which i have already explained which uh, gives us the value if, I, if horizontal length or vertical length either is one just return zero otherwise uh, our answer will be incremented by x comma y by 2 minimum of x comma y by 2 plus uh, minimum of y comma x by 2 minus 2 because i have calculated the extra answers for every part okay so i have i need to calculate the answers for four orientations okay left of ij and down left and up and right and down right and up because l shape figure uh, can be formed with four possible orientations finally return the answer for a particular test case so let's uh, copy this code and check it out on this platform okay just submit okay so let us check this also okay so it's take okay so it is passed okay you can see uh, one time ac one go so if you have any doubts do not forget to mention in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video